I read an article in the Wall Street Journal last week that has stayed with me. So I asked Dr. Nick if we could explore it because there were so many things that I wasn't aware of and I thought it could help all of us. He joins us this morning with more. And the topic is anxiety. And I think of Mel Brooks' movie, High Anxiety. <laughs> he couldn't go on an escalator or up to any high ground he would have. And those are easy uh, to recognize. Yeah, those phobias. You know. That's, that's, you know. Yeah, specific we, phobias, crossing a bridge. My father was very anxious, hated elevators, hated elevators. Yeah. Never realized that it was anxiety. No kidding. Just, I won't go on an elevator. Yeah. yeah. Finally, when he got older, he would. But anxiety but is very prevalent. It said there were 11 different types. Types. That was shocking to me. Yeah. I, I thought, you know, my phobias, uh, worry. You know, I could, I could probably name four, but 11? Yeah, 11 different types. But pro the one that is probably most prevalent is the generalized anxiety, okay. which is just the, the concern about the uncontrollability of life or the what ifs. Or, you know, always, always say, you know, I, was, uh, that, I read something that was so cute about the half glass, half full, Whitney. It, it the optimist sees it as half the full. The optimist sees it as half full. The pessimist sees it as half empty. The anxious person <laughs> is not worried about either, but they're more concerned about whether the rest of it's going to evaporate <laughs> overnight. <laughs> It, 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 it really does make it laughable because it, it, there is obviously one of the ways to treat anxiety is through humor. I mean, it really is. It, it's good it, for everything. It, it's just good for everything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great uh, anti-anxious, anti-depression, which kind of go hand in hand. They can, they can certainly lean on each other. Um, but, but my question is, uh, in, in this article too, it said that there are more people with it than ever. Um, I realize we probably have better diagnostic tools as well, so yes. those people are certainly uh, in a category, but is it the world we live in too? Whitney, I, I have often felt that that's, and I read that article, you know, you Thank sent you. it to me, and I, I was a little bit disappointed that she spent so much time talking about medication mm. and the types of medication, and, and while I, of course I'm not an MD, I'm not a psychiatrist or even a psychologist, so I don't, uh, that's not my area, first of all. Sure. But I also think that that there really needs to be a look at society, particular Western society. Uh, we're highly materialistic. We're, don't you remember, maybe you didn't grow up in it, but we have a, still a lot of what, what, I, what I call normalcy bias, where we think I've got to keep up with this family or we spend money is an issue. Mm. We spend beyond our means. You know, that creates anxiety. Certainly. Uh, consumerism, the lack of interpersonal connections, you know, can, can, can create anxiety. Uh, the lack of engagement at work can create anxiety. To, lack to, of engagement. What lack of engagement, meaning, meaning always feeling threatened. Um, that you may be going to lose your job um, or that somebody's going to take over or that you got looked at funny or that you're a boss and you said something to one of the, the lowers and you're thinking, oh my God, am I not, I'm not a good boss. Uh, we, we start second guessing yeah. uh, and that's all a part of anxiety. We just start getting anxious. But, but and, some of it can be paralyzing. Were some you... of it can be paralyzing. Some of it can be enhancing. Explain. I know you've given talks before. I know people have asked you to speak, and I bet you anything you had a little anxiety. I always you get a little moment. nervous. Now, that is normal because that pumps up. That gets you going. That gets the True. adrenaline going. And so you, you always want a little bit, but you want it to be optimal. You don't want it to go overboard because it does become paralyzing. Yes. I, so. I was with a group of people, and they said um, <laughs> a 23-year-old uh, college graduate that they knew, so he's been out in the workforce just a little while, was in the emergency room the other night. Um, he didn't know why he thought he was dying, and it was a panic attack. It was a panic attack.